I will never think of you as an old person, Chris. <laughs> I'm feeling it this morning. <laughs> My heart bleeds. So, are we standing in a way? Yeah, it's really good because I'll just make it run. And uh, I'm kind of taking over for Chris because Chris is just a little under the weather and he's needs to relax. So, welcome to the Koala area. And I'm currently housing Kobe, who a couple of you actually saw me take him out of the enclosure. Uh, we don't normally hold our koalas this way because obviously... Oh, wait, wait. wait. Oh. We're missing your golden word. Two years of age, which is when a, a male koala would start to mature, and uh, so we have had a couple of incidences where he's tried to bite our shoulders. But again, just like any young young animal or, or young child, uh, we we kind of just uh, work, work them through it. But when Kobe was born, he was the size <laughs> he was the size of a jelly bean, so he was quite small. Here, little thingy. Did you see that? Embryo with a plastic bag. Hi, Toby. Do they ever move fast? You know, when they want to, they can move quite, okay. quite quickly. Um, Bang their head against the wall because it, it's not easy. It's really frustrating. Um, we're finding more and more that it, it seems that the female koala really rules the dating game. Um, they're the ones that kind of choose who they like or don't like. So I'm doing research here at the koala barn, which they are currently doing. They, they come in and they observe the milk bellowing or taking samples of their scent glands to see if that has anything to do with it. And just a year ago, we've even taken it a step further. And we actually hired Dr. Bill Ellis, who is um, a colony of koalas on St. Eve's Island off the Queensland coast, to see what wild populations can tell us. And we put some GPS collars on them back in September. In November, our two keepers and myself went over to take those collars off and download information. And we're finding out some really amazing, amazing things. And it's kind of confirming that the female is the, the kind of the aggressor in the situation. And she might be the one that really is making the choices. So by us working conjointly, hopefully sometime... Hi, Cody. He's so cute. It felt really good because she didn't tell you that he is going through his terrible twos and and he has this um, little behavior that likes to do with biting keeper's shoulders to try. Oh, he already tried it? Okay. So she's being really brave and hence why I chose that she would be the better candidate. <laughs> <laughs> Seniority well, has it. its perks. She's why younger she's and more, more agile. That's why I don't have to do second grade very often. I'm <laughs> senior, let the 20 somethings from Moore Park do it. They have no. Okay. okay.